Here it comes. This is Studio Ice's uh, new exhibition, Abraham Lincoln, One Man, Two Views. Uh, we're standing in front of the entryway, and let me take you inside and uh, explain a little bit about this exhibition. It, it, it begins with um, uh, a, a description of uh, what the show is about, which began in April of 2009 after a lecture that I gave here at Montgomery College. And we talk about uh, research that was done for the exhibition, moving through the space, uh, we look at the original clay prototype sculpture, now destroyed, but an interesting artifact that was used for the Gettysburg uh, Lincoln sculpture that was dedicated on the anniversary of the Gettysburg Address in November of 2009. Moving around this way, we look at a whole series of images that give you a sense of the, uh, the face of Lincoln from 1846 to 1865. He sat for the camera 63 times, there are about 130 images of Lincoln that survive. Moving through, you see the image of um, Lincoln and his horse at President Lincoln's cottage here in Washington, D.C. This is the finished bronze. And then we go down this long wall. We talk about sculptural antecedents, image development, how Studio Weiss developed the images for these various sculptures, uh, lots of drawings, scale, uh, photographs that show how we do what we do in the field to determine the scale of the sculptures. Um, behind you, uh, we've got a, a series of folkloric Lincoln sculpture or objects, um, the kinds of things that everybody sees all over the country. Uh, we thought it was interesting, probably since 1865, there are millions and millions and millions of these objects. But part of the folkloric history surrounding the image of Abraham Lincoln, as we move through the gallery, you can see this wonderful uh, bust of Lincoln um, on this uh, columnar pillar, and it, it's set up to indicate exactly how tall Abraham Lincoln was. So if you stand in front of this, you're going to see Lincoln at his full height, six foot four, with his hat on. He was seven feet tall. Moving further into the space, uh, you can see the bronze sculpture of Lincoln. Uh, for uh, the National Military Park at Gettysburg. And here there are two panels that really take you through the building process from site selection drawings, um, clay development through bronze sculpture. And then as we move on, moving along right around here, um, you can see the clay prototype in this room for the Lincoln Cottage sculpture. Some small models here on the floor that have yet to be mounted. Um, here are some uh, scale models, starting with this very small crude model up to uh, a slightly larger scale uh, for the Lincoln Cottage sculpture. And then once again, this is the destroyed um, clay prototype sculpture used for the development of the Lincoln Cottage sculpture. Interesting because it is an artifact. Behind us um, is a, a couple of uh, boards on the development of the Lincoln Cottage sculpture, beginning with uh, drawings for scale drawings, uh, computer renderings, uh, discussion with uh, portrait artists, and moving right through foundry and final installation. And then finally, this show ends in a um, the show ends in the portrait sculptor's studio. It's a little tableau mock-up of what a portrait sculptor's working environment feels like. And that's the, that's the um, Montgomery College so show from Soup to Nuts. Abraham Lincoln, One Man, Two Views.